In this video, we discuss something called mental filter and how it can be so harmful for anxiety and ADHD, especially if you don't know about it. In addition, you must have a strategy to deal with it, which we share as well. PanicAttackRecovery.com I'd like to start by defining mental filter. According to the Cognitive Behavioral Therapy Model, an explanation that we reviewed defines mental filter as a cognitive distortion that involves focusing exclusively on certain, usually negative or upsetting, aspects of something while ignoring the rest, like a tiny imperfection in a piece of clothing. Of course, this type of thinking is not accurate. However, it can be common for sufferers of stress, anxiety, and those in the throes of depression and ADHD, all of whom often have a really hard time seeing things from outside of such a perspective. Some of us at PanicAttackRecovery.com used to notice when becoming anxious or stressed over a particular situation that upset us, we would start to run through similar negative scenarios in our head. We would often start to see the whole world from a negative perspective. But interestingly, there are people who have some insightful views on the limitations they encounter in life. One of our subscribers shared with us that he was never that handy around the house. He suddenly realized that he could barter services. He said, I'm good at accounting, so he offered to do some accounting work for his neighbor in exchange for his neighbor doing some handiwork at his house. In other words, he didn't see his whole life as a failure and instead came up with a mutually useful suggestion. Another example came from a mom who shared with us her son's experience in soccer. He always tried his best, but simply found that he was not that skilled at soccer. Even in his young age, he was very wise and said to his mom, That's okay, mom. There are many other things I'm good at. I still like playing soccer with my friends. What a great attitude. We would like to share a strategy that we found helpful for dealing with the problem of mental filter. Monitor yourself for a while and see if and when you are being caught in the trap of mental filter. Don't initially try to change anything with your thoughts. Just observe them. By becoming more vigilant in recognizing this tendency, you can start to see for yourself how you are taking one negative situation and overgeneralizing it to your life. The trick is for one to come to the realization in their own life experiences. Finally, instead of generalizing from a negative circumstance, start thinking about things more specifically. If you have a problem with a specific task, recognize the problem is with the task itself and perhaps a specific component of the activity. It doesn't generalize to your self-worth or your life in general. And remember the examples we provided earlier in the video. Thank you for watching this video. To make sure that you don't miss out on any of our content, please click on the card on the upper right corner of this video and subscribe to our free newsletter. As usual, we look forward to presenting a new video in our series next week.